Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. The Brown Bombers had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his foot. First round underway in this scheduled 10-rounder. Brown Bombers done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Use your feet. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Tyson's opponent here is not known for being a guy that can really go deep into fights. Doesn't have a lot of stamina. Well, Mike may make that a very easy and good marriage for him. Yeah, that works perfect for Tyson because that probably means that his opponent is going to come out fast. He's going to be desperate early. He knows he can't go late. And Tyson loves to get a guy early. Let it go! Tyson's proving to be elusive. That's a nice left hand from Mike Tyson. Comes across with a hook up top. Locks it away. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. The Brown Bombers, the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Bombers getting back to basics. A good solid jab. Tyson's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Work the body. That is a strong uppercut there. Tyson with a powerful left hand. Fires right back at him. The exchange was something special. He scores with the jab there. The Brown Bombers combination punching is working well here. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Stay away from Mike Tyson's the, the target of a hook. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, and it's great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that Help us do what we do. The Brown Bombers left now getting into the mix. Tyson's able to avoid that punch. Nice combination by Mike Tyson. Scored well up top. Yeah. 
He scored well after being hit himself. You see him holding on. Oh, and you can see now he's starting to target that jab with more and more confidence. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. Let's see some more head movement. Let's see some more head movement. Get out of the way. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Able to get rid of that one. Solid right by Mike Tyson. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Mike Tyson's nailed. Tyson with a block punch, keeping him honest with a double jab up top. The Brown Bombers doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together... Tyson's hurt from that. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. We better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Productivity really dropped off in that last round, and with a lack of offense came some sloppy defense. Just look at his face now. Yeah, and you know what? He should look at his trainers too, because I always say that about this business. Where are the teachers? Where are the trainers? He should be able to get away from punches. With his experience, he should do a better job than he could do it tonight. The Brown Bombers impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Hits him in the mug with there the right. The Brown Bombers not skipping a beat. He, oh, a big shot comes home for him. There he goes. He goes down from that headshot. One, two, three, four, five. Tyson's going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope. Kill some time. Make the referee come in between you and break you. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there and that's land a good solid jab i really like what he's doing here i mean if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter it is the jab and he's firing it off you and he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance he's getting full extension on that punch and that's making him effective offensively and safe Defensively, he's out of the other fighters. How about that left right there? Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joe, he can't use his legs right now, so he wishes. Look at that! Mike Tyson is on his pants. Iron Mike's got to get back up. Tyson's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. What a big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. 
Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. And it's over. Look at this. Mike Tyson's unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Bombers able to come up with a shocker here out of nowhere early on a knockout victory and does it with one shot that he never saw for Teddy Atlas I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us